they said, man climbs mountains because they're there, and man makes art because it's not there. We all look at places in different ways, and all I'm trying to do is show people what I think, what I see when I uh, visit a place. I get, I get inspired by the ordinary. I visit the place over and over and over again, and therefore it's as much to do with the sort of memory of the place and the understanding of the place over a long period of time, rather than the instant overview of, of something that you just happen to discover at that moment in time. I think that there is, the, there is the assumption that artists hang around, sit in their studios and wait for inspiration. And nothing could be further from the truth. It's incredibly hard work. I make lots and lots of mistakes all the time. And then I have to correct it. And then you're almost finished, then you make a mistake and you have to paint the whole thing all over again. It's perspiration, not inspiration. The difficulty that I've always found is how to get as much information back into the studio as I possibly can. That's what I think the, the photograph does. It allows me to, to look at the place. It takes an, an unchanging image. It's like a, a split second of actuality. And from that split second, I can then analyze it over and over and over and over and over again. So it's as much to do with memory of plays as it is to do with the analytical observing of plays. I always try and paint a painting in a day. I've never ever succeeded. The paintings normally take several months to paint. There's a lot of drying time. There's a lot of layers that goes into it. There's a lot of mistakes that go into it. So you can never actually say exactly how long it's going to take. But I'd be surprised if I finish a painting within two or three months. A lot of people ask, how do you know when it's finished? And I always say that I know what I'm painting. I know exactly what it is that I'm painting. And it's finished when I've got as close to that as I possibly can get.